Hello Libra, welcome to my channel, Awaken with Nancy. This is going to be your December 2020 Soul Connection and Separation Love Reading. So this is for those of you that are experiencing a deep soul connection with someone and there's been a disconnect between the two of you, there's been a physical separation. This may have been going on for quite some time, months, years, decades even. Um, if this is not your story, if you're looking for new love, then this is definitely not your reading, you guys. Um, this is going to be general and it's not going to resonate for everyone. Uh, the energies can also be reversed, so please keep that in mind. If you would like to book a private reading with me, I'll pin a comment down below. You can click on that link and be directed to my website, awakenwithnancy.com. When booking, if you would please indicate in the notes or in an email to me whether you would like phone, Zoom, or pre recorded. Zoom is recordable. Um, if you select pre recorded, please also indicate in the notes your zodiac sign. If you're inquiring about another person, their name, their sign, and a brief description of what's going on between the two of you, it saves me so much time from following up. I really do appreciate it. All right, Libra, let's get um, going with this reading. We've got Mother Mary, and this is so interesting because yesterday I did the Virgo reading, and it, they I believe it was Virgo that got Father Jesus. And so that indicated um, a need for father healing. This is indicating a need for mother healing. And what I'm get I'm getting this message about um there's there's healing um going on within the collective right now. Um, the distorted masculine, the distorted feminine, um, the collective is, is really healing and moving away from those energies and moving into the divine masculine and the divine feminine. Um, there could be, um, you know, there, there could be areas that you need to heal with your own mother or a mother type figure, because this says love and peace, let go of the need to be right, choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. Um, you may be saying to yourself, oh, I have a great relationship with my mother. Um, maybe on the surface, and this is not for everyone, you guys, but maybe on the surface, but if you really take time to go within about it, um, there may be a few resentments, there may be some things that are really bothering you um, that you haven't quite acknowledged. It could be something within your subconscious that, you, you know, has yet to bubble up. So that is something to please take to, to heart, okay? Um, with love and peace, this is about life getting easier. Um, it's about coming into this place of harmony within yourself and with others. So I do feel um, that there is, it's like there's, there's more peace coming to all of us, to the collective, um, you know, to us as individuals. It's, it's been a very trying year, but I do feel like the energy with, with a great awakening, you know, happening and, and so many people going through awakenings and ascensions, um, spiritual ascensions, that um, there is going to be more sense of, of peace in the coming future. Now we've got some very, very interesting energies. We have this travel card that came through, and this is about the possibility of travel. It is also the possibility of relocation. Um, you know, some of you may be thinking of selling your home, buying a new home, um, moving apartments, possibly relocating out of the city or even the state or the country that you're currently in. I do feel that for some of you, this is going to be a significant um, travel journey or a, a significant uh, change in residence. I mean, big, because we've got come to the edge. And so spirit is asking you to take a leap of faith, take a risk. If this is something that you've been wanting to do, then it's time. It's time to make this change and just trust that everything is going to work out. We've got opening my mind. And this says, I allow myself to see beyond my beliefs and ideas. And so with this coming through, you may have thought that this was like, oh, pie in the sky. 
And you're being asked to step away from that belief system and, and really step out of your comfort zone and go for it. Go for your dreams. If this is something that you're wanting, do it. We've got emotions are running high. So I'm just feeling like there could be a lot of anxiety about this. And what I'm getting is that your person could also be traveling to see you. Um, and that may have you kind of on the edge okay emotionally so all right interesting i just saw the empress and the world and the lovers let's see how your person is feeling about you how are they connecting to your energy today Hmm, interesting. We've got the seven of pentacles. And so I feel like they're waiting for the right time um to come towards you um they could be working on something right now it could be um you know their actual job career business something like that but it seems that they're working on something right now and they're waiting for the right time to come towards you this um this may be why the travel card is here and we've got the queen of cups and so I would say they're feeling very, very emotional about you, um, very connected to you. Um, we've also got the nine of pentacles. Um, and this is, you know, an energy of being very independent and having everything that you need. Uh, they may be questioning whether you even want them back in your life. Um, this can be a very intimidating energy. And with, um, you know, f f for someone who is not in a place of, you know, extreme self-confidence. So they're waiting for the right time to approach you. They're feeling very emotional. They're, they're a little bit unsure is what I'm getting. Will you accept me? Um, will you even have a conversation with me? This is kind of what I'm getting. Now with the Four of Swords, this is about them, um, you know, taking time out to rest and recover after this painful ending between the two of you, after this heartbreak, after this disappointment. And so we've got two waiting energy. So there's a real, um, there's, yeah, there's an energy of uncertainty is what I'm feeling. And then we've got devotion and separation and it's interesting, you know, this is very much like the three of swords to me, and we do have the four of swords coming through here. Um, devotion is about love. And so with the queen of cups and the devotion card coming through, you have never lo uh, left your person's thoughts. You have never left their heart, despite the physical distance between the two of you. Let's see where they're at on their journey. The fool, you guys, this is the same energy. Come to the edge, the fool. They are ready to take a leap of faith. They are ready to take a risk. They're ready for a new beginning. And we've got the three of pentacles. And so this is about, work, you know, collaborating. It's teamwork, um, working together to build something. And we've got the six of wands. So this is interesting um, because that's under the nine of pentacles. So their energy towards you is a little bit uncertain how they're connecting to you. I mean, the love is there, but there's just a little bit of uncertainty um, 
you know, how it's going to turn out if you're going to accept them back. But then with the six of wands under the nine of pentacles, this is them really like shoring up their self-esteem so that they can approach you. So they can take this leap of faith and they're, they're like expecting to be successful. So, you know, I feel like there's some vacillation within their mind. They're, they're going back and forth. Um, you know, should I, shouldn't I, um, is it the right time? Have, you know, have I recovered enough? Am I strong enough? Um, but it, it feels like they're really gearing up to come towards you. Um, we've got the high priestess and, you know, this is, this is about them really listening to their intuition, going with their wisdom, their inner wisdom their inner knowing. We've got patience and settling. And yeah, so right now, they're just kind of settling for this separation, what's going on um, between the two of you. But with, with patience, this is about waiting for the right time. So it's, you know, that energy is coming through loud and clear. And I did not want those cards. I want to see what is um, what is challenging your person. Enlightenment. This is their solar plexus related to their solar plexus. The affirmation for that is I can. And this is exactly what I was saying. Um, you know, this is about self-esteem, self-worth. Um, it, it's our personal power center. It's about creativity. And this says, if I seek peace, I must embrace my fears. And so there is some hesitancy coming through. There, they, they do have, you know, um, a little bit of fear. And this is why they are not coming forth. Um, this says trusting your intuition, and this is about having courage. And we do have the fool, you know, which is a very, it's a an innocent energy. It's a courageous energy. It's about, yeah, let's just do this. Um, let's just do this. So with trusting your intuition coming through as a blockage, this is why the high priestess is coming through with where they're at on their journey. They're learning to trust their intuition about this connection. We've got the eight of pentacles and we saw that that's interesting. We saw the seven and the nine, and now the eight is a challenge. It's an obstacle for them. And that is about being dedicated, putting in hard work. Um, I feel a little bit of exhaustion coming through because we do have the four of swords and the settling energy. So they could just be feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now and they need a little bit of a break. Yeah, we've got the devil coming through. And so there is some stagnation and there is some fear that's holding them back. Yeah, there's a pause and we've got crossroads. So they're, um, yeah, they're definitely kind of stuck. They're taking some time out while they really ponder things and, you know, think about their next move. Let's see what they want to say to you. I still remember the good times we shared and you still take my breath away. Very much in their emotions about you. Yeah, you are never far from my mind. And I'm sorry I held myself back with you. So yeah, you are very, very much on their mind. And that's what I was saying, you know, up above. Let's see what else. Let's get these cute little heart cards. 
close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. This is about being happy despite what is happening within this connection or, you know, what is not happening in this connection. Passion. A magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. So this is about you um, stepping into your personal power and really knowing yourself, who you are, what you want, um, feeling energized and passionate about life. That is very, very attractive. You may not always understand why certain things happen. However, there is always a higher purpose to the events in your life. Through turmoil, a blessing will soon be revealed. So there's some sort of blessing coming in and everything is going to make sense. Um, this, you know, this difficult cycle that you've been in, it was necessary. It's, you know, I, I, I say this all the time, but it was meant to help you grow. What does spirit have to say about this connection? Ooh, awakening. Both people in this connection are undergoing spiritual transformations. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. One more card, friendship. This friendship is leading to more. So that's a very specific message for some of you that are friends or were friends with this person. And, you know, it's it's like you may not have um, started something romantic with them because of the friendship, but this is saying that there can definitely be more more than just friendship between you and this person and with the longing you know someone is secretly longing yearning for you maybe you know for some of you maybe you never expressed your feelings to each other pretty common theme um their intentions towards you is the ace of cups so an offer of a new beginning We've got the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. I want to get one more card from this deck. We've got the Death card. Wow. Scorpio energy. This is their intention. Um, so they you're coming through as the queen of wands and she is very seductive and magnetic um you know just as this card states so they are highly highly attracted to you they do want a new beginning in love with the seven of cups coming through they're probably daydreaming about what it will be like um, when the two of you come back together And, oh my gosh, okay. Then we've got the death card, you guys, okay? So this is about transforming things. This is about leaving the past in the past and starting anew. It's rising from those ashes like the phoenix. It's about profound change. We've also got metamorphosis. This is the same energy. They want to transform things with you. We've also got surrender and we've got karmic partner. And so for some of you, um, there is a karmic partner in their life. This is not going to be for everybody. It doesn't have to be a love relationship and it the, they may not even be physically in their life, but there are cords that need to be cut with this karmic partner. Um, it could be someone from their past that really did a number on them 
and they're having to heal from this. Um, and as we heal, we can re, you know, release this other person. If we're still um, in pain over someone, it's almost impossible to like, you know, let that person go and cut cut that energy cord. Um, so I do feel that there is some releasing, some surrendering into, um, you know, this connection with the karmic and letting it go once and for all. It's going to create this death energy, this metamorphosis energy. And then we've got soulmate and spring. And so isn't this interesting? It's like, um, yeah, there's going to be a complete transformation. This is what they're wanting. Spring is about a new beginning. And so the way I'm reading this is they want a new beginning with the soulmate who is you and they want to surrender the karmic partner once and for all. So that is quite beautiful. Their intentions are really pure. That may be why they're a little bit hesitant. They know that they've um, they've got to just, you know, once and for all release this energy of that karmic partner. What's in their heart space is the Page of Wands and the Four of Cups. And so what I'm feeling is they want a new chapter. They want an opportunity. Um, so another opportunity with you so that this isn't like a misconnection. Um, and we've got the Queen of Swords. They don't want to miss this opportunity with you. They're gaining some clarity. Um, they're feeling, um, they're striving for independence is what I'm feeling with the Queen of Swords. Um, they're striving for independence and um, it's about cutting cords with this karmic, um, these energetic cords, um, releasing this so that they can go through this death, this transformation, um, so that, you know, they can move on. They can accept this offer or offer this cup to you. It's no longer going to be, um, you know, a missed opportunity. Um, they're excited about the changes that they're going through. Um, that they're making. Um, they're they're excited about the future. And we've got the Ace of Pentacles. So we've seen the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles now. They're really wanting this new beginning. And it's interesting because you guys in their heart space, we've got all of the various um, elements. We've got fire, we've got water, We've got air and we've got earth. That is interesting. So very balanced. It's not like they're totally in their head or totally in their emotions. We've got summer. The answer is yes. Commitment. Recognition. They could have had some realizations this summer <clears throat> about you, about this connection, and they realize that they want a commitment with you, that you're the one for them. That's kind of what I'm feeling. Um, we did get the spring and both the spring and the summer cards. Um, so, you know, they're this could be very, very significant. And I know it's next year, you guys, but hang on. Um, there is something, there is something huge, huge coming in for you. And so it's, it's going to take time to, you know, move through this energy, work through this energy. Um, but with spring and summer coming through, this could be a time frame. Um, you guys could be traveling together. You could be moving in together. You could be thinking about buying a house together. And there's some sort of commitment indicated. And, you know, this woman is wearing a ring. So there could be an engagement. There could be a marriage. And I don't know why I'm pulling. Yeah. Okay. This is the outcome. Too many cards. Okay, we've got the Five of Cups and the Five of Wands, and this is about, you know, difficulties. Um, sadness, sorrow, grief, power struggle, 
uh, competition, external influences, but we've got the world card coming through. So I do feel like this energy is going to be dissipating. It's going to be released because this is the end. And we did see the fool come in for them. So there's a big cycle that's ending and we've got the Knight of Pentacles. So I do feel that your person is making progress. It's slow, but they are definitely making progress. And, you know, this is about communication. This is about an offer. This, you know, this is, um, this is a gesture. Yeah, we've got regrets. So that needs to be released. New direction. deception. Um, this person is hiding. They are hiding. And so this has to do, you know, I, I just feel like they're hiding out. There's a pause right now because of all these, you know, um, lower energies, the regret, the sadness, the sorrow, the grief. So this has got to be released before they can come back with some sort of offer. They need to spend more time alone, more time away from this connection, but this is all going to be ending and they do want to go in a new direction with you. So this is very um, positive. Of course, it's going to take more time. Um, but you know, you guys, if you, if you weren't watching these videos, then it would probably be time, right? So you're watching because it's not quite time. Um, but overall, very positive. I mean, they, they adore you. They love you. They want to be with you. They want a commitment. They want a new beginning. So, um, it's going to be, I feel like you're both kind of in the same place where it's going to be a huge leap of faith for both of you. Um, and emotions are running high on both sides, but I feel that it will be worth it if you're both willing to take that risk in the future. All right, Libra, thanks for joining me today. Um, sending you so much love. Bye-bye.